and foremost, we've added over 900,000 square feet of space. So about 250,000 square foot in the plant and then the additional space that we've added into our new test facility. And the reason that it allows us to be able to produce the best products is because we've been able to now improve our flow, think about quality, how we feed material to the factory, and that means that our factory workers can produce the best quality, um, the most tested product, so that when it reaches the customer, it meets their expectations. Uh, from a laboratory perspective, we've added a 400,000 square foot uh, laboratory for, you know, it's dedicated to rooftop testing and development. It's the foremost capability of its kind in all the world. There's, there's no other competitor that has the capabilities for testing and development that we had. For us, this investment really allows us to really leapfrog where we are today and get products that are ready for our new regulatory changes that will come in 2023. So we'll have the highest efficiency products, which allows us to be able to meet customers' needs around energy usage in their buildings, allows them to improve their carbon footprint and improve their own sustainability goals, and really making the world a better place um, with the products that, uh, that we are, uh, are producing not only today, but what we're going to be able to produce in the future. So we've got really long line of sight to what the government's going to require of us here in the next few years. We're already future-proofing our designs by hitting those performance levels. So we now have from 6 to 50 tons covered with products that are already meeting that benchmark. That means customers are going to be getting top performance. It's going to drive down their energy costs and allow them to, to ultimately get a better life cycle value out of the products.